I feel a bit sorry for the, uh, the poor water guy. He seems to be ganging up on my every, you know, all the liberals. And um, I think, you know, it goes both ways. It goes both ways. But uh, again, I think, I was having a conversation with a friend of mine. I think the water bottle is a sort of, it's a lightning rod of an issue which is far bigger. And again, I said, I mean, how many of us came here on trains or in cars? I have a friend who's an environmentalist, always rides a bike. And I sat down and she said, oh, well, everyone needs to be on a free bike from the government. I said, no, well, fundamentally, if that's the problem, we buy cars. We put in trams, we put in trains. There's bigger issues at stake. And I think the fact is, I believe in choice. And I think it's good to have had this debate and it's gone through the referendum. So it's legitimate and bygone, even though it was low turnout, you know, but it's, the union has spoken. But again, I think you can walk through there and get a bottle of water. And I agree that 33,000 new products will simply refill the shelves. But I think this, it, it can't be allowed to mask if there is this greater issue, which I think there is. This is simply one aspect of it, and it shouldn't be the be all and end all. And again, I, I feel, can I just ask, if your project hadn't, you know, did 5,000 wells, would they have had the other ones? So is it 5,000 villages without? It's the thing, the thing I like, I mean, living in a market system, at least you have the choice of buying the water and giving something. Is it complete profits to the charity? I think that's incredible because how many people will buy that water? I used to buy the water and I used to get a bottle of water and I fill it up from the taps when I finished with it. So if you're walking to lecture, you can't really carry, you know, tap water with you. And it seems to me that how many people a give to water charities or instead of giving that 70 people that would have gone to water, would have gone to water charity. And it could be marginal. But I think in a market system like Amsterdam, again, we still have Coca-Cola, we still have lemonade, we still have Oasis, we still have vitamin water. So it's not, it's not that much of a change, is it really? Let's be honest. Next time. Eva. <laughs> 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 so good. <laughs> 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 There's one behind you, and then you can go out, go next to <laughs> You're right. It isn't the be all and end all. There are much bigger issues, but that doesn't mean you shouldn't start somewhere. Just go straight back. Try again. No, but that's it. Sorry, just a minute. Yeah, we completely don't have the power to do it. I can't make people buy like cars outside, but I really wish we could. But we do, as a union, have the power to bottle, to go and bottle water. We have, we've done it, and that's great. But that's something that we can do, we have the power to do, and that's something that we've always do. So, well done. Yeah, that's um, Just to go on to the whole sort of union, power, one of the points you raised, um, the first point, about the people that voted for this referendum. This was put up to referendum, which meant that every single person in the first union had the right to vote. So it was essentially a choice. If people don't vote in a referendum, that is their own problem. People should take an, um, to take an interest in student politics. People should see if they go to the union, if they buy products every day, they should take an interest in what's happening in their union, what their products are, what they vote on. Uh, you guys are making me nostalgic from when I was in school. <laughs> it's so much passion. Uh, just another thing to think about, and one thing that this young man mentioned about the garbage patch in the Pacific called plastic. It's true, plastic waste and plastic debris in the ocean is a huge problem. It's absolutely tragic. And not only do, you know, sea life eat plastic bags and little bits of plastic, but those little bits of plastic become Trojan horses. They pick up chemicals in the water, like PCBs, and carry them into the wildlife and consume them. And the chemicals become intensely concentrated in those bits of plastic. So, you know, as this young man mentioned, you know, what about all the other plastic products that we have? Plastic, you know, it's certainly not that we should ban plastic, because the more you think about it, this is the most amazing material. Absolutely amazing. These are all dinosaurs that we managed to produce this hard, clear material. We can do anything with it. We can make medical equipment. We can make CDs. I wouldn't have an iPod if it wasn't for plastic. Plastic is a remarkable material. We should never think about banning it. It's precious and it's irreplaceable. But what do we do with it? 40% of the plastic that we make is used for packaging, which is used once and thrown away. And that's stupid. <laughs> Oh, you're stupid. Someone's got outside, you're saying? 
Yeah, I think I, I totally agree with Zoe. Like I said, uh, you know, everybody should recycle it and they're doing that bag. Can you just put that bag there? So, so. Yeah, um, this is uh, a material, this is called BCR, and um, you can, that's made of 12 plastic bottles. And the reality is, is that it, you grab it right. Plastic is just a brilliant product, and we could, you know, do a lot better with it. Um, but you can make t shirts, you can make webbing, you can make sleeping bags, you can make materials out of it. So, what we should be doing is saying, whatever you use, recycle it, and uh, let's put it to better, better use. Um, that's it. So, the rules, the pink club's over when the pink club is over. So, do people think that it's over, or do people think that it's still carrying on? That's the question. Still carrying on. Last one question, like for the cost of donations, how much money per bottle goes to a wedding advertising? Uh, it depends on who the distributor is. So from Leeds, you know? Uh, I don't know from Leeds. I can find out and let you know. But typically, typically, how much do you donate per bottle that we buy off Leeds? We donate 100% of the money that we make. How much profit do you make from a bottle? Uh, it's been five and a half years. Five and a half years. Yeah. 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 Y